When we started these evening encouragement videos again, we said we would go for 20 days and then come to a stop. Well, guess what today is? Today is day 20, and so today is going to be the last evening encouragement video for now, not for not forever. We plan to start them again on Sunday, October 25th. So we'll have another round ready to go. We'll pick up where we left off. And if you'd like to hear some encouragement from me, some occasional encouragement through email, you can sign up for my personal email list using the link that's provided in the description of this video. But we are now in Numbers chapter 10. And Numbers chapter 10, 10 chapters into the book of Numbers. Do you know how far the Israelites have traveled through the first 10 chapters of the book of Numbers? Remember, they're on their way to the Promised Land, starting from Mount Sinai. They still had 38 years to go, basically, at the beginning of the book. You know how far they've traveled in the first 10 chapters? Well, they haven't. They haven't gone anywhere. They're still at Mount Sinai. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've traveled farther on my little walk um, in this video than they traveled in the first nine chapters of the book of Numbers. And, and that can be really, really frustrating if you're starting a long journey towards something you know is good and it doesn't feel like you've gotten anywhere. I mean, we know that feeling with the pandemic. What? We're still dealing with this? How many months has it been? Things haven't really improved in this area and that area. People are still getting sick. It's still spreading. People are still at home. Can't go into work again. That can be frustrating if you feel like you haven't actually gone anywhere. And it can happen in other areas of life too. If you have a good destination in mind for your career, for your kids, for your health, for your marriage, for your relationship with key people in, uh, key people in your life. And if you feel like it just it's not where you want it to be and it's not getting there quickly. That can be really frustrating, just as maybe it was for the Israelites who didn't go anywhere. But you know who else didn't go anywhere in those first 10 chapters of the book of Numbers? God. God didn't go anywhere either. He was right there with them, just as he is always right there with you. Always. Just think of the moment that the Son of God had to make a choice, hanging on a cross, thinking about his needs or your needs, his comfort or your salvation. And he did not go anywhere. He stayed there and endured the pain and he took the nails and he let his blood pour out of him so that you could know that your promised land is most certainly coming. Nothing in all creation is going to stop that from happening. Nothing, not any trouble, not any enemy, not even your own mistakes or sins, nothing. And he knows you're not there yet. You're not in the perfection of heaven. You're not in the promised land that you've already been given, but you will be. He promises to walk with you every step of the way, wherever you are, whatever you're waiting for, however long you've had to wait. You're never alone. And so rest well tonight, my friends. God's not going anywhere.